Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Karul Ahmad bin Kamaluddin. My metric number is 171467 and my supervisor is Dr. Nadia. Okay, today I will present you about my final year project 1 on the topic of coconut shell ash as re partially replacement of cement in concrete production. <coughs> Okay, for the starting of the presentation, I will explain you about the presentation outline. <clears throat> Start with chapter 1, which is introduction. In this chapter, it will explain about the background and the overview for the whole project. And it will share about the problem statement, the objective, and the scope of study. <clears throat> then we proceed to chapter 2, which is literature review. <clears throat> In this chapter, it is an investigation of the previous research related to this study on this topic. In this chapter, it provides me a guideline and a clearer understanding of the research that needs to be undertaken. And then we proceed to chapter 3, which is methodology. In this chapter, it will explain all the process and the procedure uh, in producing it, the new concrete, which the additional of CSA. All the technique and the step needed to be done in detail and in handling the equipment and machine. Um, and then we proceed to chapter 4, which is conclusion and the future work. In this chapter, we will conclude all the finding and the analysis from this study that we discussed and we explore the future studies and recommendation for FYP2. <clears throat> then we proceed to the problem statement. <clears throat> but I choose this topic because uh, some problem that's come up in this world. The first one is the re issue related to the carbon dioxide global emission. <clears throat> when we use cement, the significant volume of the carbon dioxide released in the concrete production <clears throat> is very high. And then the second problem is the waste material disposal. It will lead to the environmental problem and the health problem due to the disposal problem. And lastly, is the high cost of the conventional building material waste in Maine. <clears throat> so we use this alternative to, uh, to use the agriculture waste material, which is coconut shell, to minimize the cost. And then we proceed to the objective of the study. The first objective is to study the use of the disposal coconut shell. The second one is to analyze the physical and mechanical properties of the concrete with coconut shell ash cement replacement. And lastly, to determine the optimum percentage of CSA in replacing the cement in concrete production. Okay, next we proceed to chapter 2, which is literature review. I will do a table of comparison on the effect of the performance by adding CSA based on several researches. Okay, the first one, when we increase the percentage of the replacement in, CS, uh, in semen with the CSA, the consistency will increase. This is due to the total surface area increase and the low specific gravity than OPT. <clears throat> Next, uh, the setting time. Basically, all the majority of the research do this setting time. When we increase the percentage of the replacement with CSA, the, <clears throat> the setting time will increase. This is due to the presence of the magnesium oxide. And then we proceed to drying shrinkage. The drying shrinkage is decreased when we increase the uh, percentage because the additional absorption of water. And same goes to the slum, it will decrease because the uh, high loss of emission of CSA compound. And next, the compressive strength will decrease when we increase the percentage replacement of CSA. This is due to the hydration, but when we increase, it will increase with curing age. Same goes to the splitting tensile strength, it will decrease because the initial filling of concrete void by the CSA particle, but it will increase when we increase the curing age. Okay, by addition, by addition of the CSA as the partial free replacement of cement is good because it increases the cementitious of the concrete. 
However, the strength will decrease up to be increased the percentage of the test A because the alkali content exceeded the limit of the equivalent sodium oxide content of the cement. So my solution and the improvement, we will not put uh, the percentage of the CSA is uh, too high. No. It's the maximum percentage for the replacement is 20% only. <clears throat> then we proceed to the chapter 3 with this proposed methodology. From this flowchart, we can see that <clears throat> for the start, I will do the material preparation, which is aggregate, cement, coconut shell ash, and water. The aggregate can divide that into the fine and cross aggregate. Then we do a stick analysis. And the cement, we use the ordinary Portland cement, OPC, and the coconut shell ash. We start with the coconut shell burning and the co cooling process, then we sieve and the um, and lastly the water. Then we <clears throat> we do a concrete mix design, we mix all these things and we do a testing. For the testing is it can be divided into two, the fresh concrete and the hardened concrete test. For the fresh concrete test, it will divide it into the slum test and the compact compactor test. And for the hardened concrete test, it will divide it into the compressive strength test and the splitting tensile strength test. Then all the result and the analysis we got, we come up with one solution. <clears throat> then for the data collection, all the data come from the result from uh, the result of the fresh and hardened concrete test in the lab. It is to determine the properties of the concrete. The fresh concrete test, which is slum test and compact compactor test, will evaluate in the workability of the fresh concrete in the mixing phase. And for the hardened concrete test, which is compressive strength test and the splitting tensile strength test, it will <coughs> identify the maximum with tank crushing force and the maximum load to bear before fracturing. <coughs> and for the conclusion of this research of this study, is with uh, the reduce of the use of cement that lead to the immense emission of carbon dioxide and the environmental problem when we use CSA. And the second one is the benefit, uh, the management of disposal. This is we reduce the waste in landfill area from this coconut shell waste. For the first objective of this project has been accomplished, which is to study the use of the disposal coconut shell based on this finding. And as for the other objective, it is clearly explained and will be achieved during FYP2 by conducting the test for the fresh and the harder concrete and we obtain the result. For the future work, which is in FYP2 next time, I will do the this process, the material selection, which is coconut shell, uh, we undergo a burning and cooling process of the coconut shell waste and do the steaming process. Then we proceed to the mixing process. We mix all the mixture accordingly and carefully. And we do the test for the concrete, which is a fresh and hardened, con hardened <coughs> concrete test, which is slum test, compacting factor test, compressive strength test, splitting tensile strength test. And we we find the outcome and the finding, we measure and report it in detail. And we come up with one conclusion. And lastly, we will compare with the normal concrete without the CSA and the new concrete that we add in the coconut shell ash. This is my gun chart. Uh, for week one and week two, I will brainstorming and the revise back from this FYP1, we do the concrete mix design calculation, the material requirement specification, material preparation, we do a concrete mixing process, the curing process, the result compilation, analysis of data, and the consultation with supervisor will undergo from week two until week 13 to make sure I'm always on the track. And we do the finalization of the project, we write a report into the presentation and submit the concrete report. Okay, I think that's all from me. Thank you.